My name is Stuart Levine, Divisional Marketing Manager for Harman International. We often get questioned in the marketplace what separates Harman Kardon from the rest of the receiver manufacturers available at retail. And it really comes down to one word, and that is performance. And it's not just performance in the audio section, but it's also performance in the video, connectivity, and user interface that separates Harman Kardon from the rest of the pack. In the digital world today, many different formats are delivered to the AVR and up to your television. Make no mistake about it, they all need to be represented with the best possible picture and the best possible audio. The way to properly do that is to scale the video to fit the display that you're using. In some cases, that scaling would be to 1080p. Other TVs might be 720p. But more important than matching the television's resolution and matching that to the input signal is how do you take the types of devices that we listen to and watch on every day and make them as look as best as possible. So now you decided to buy a Harman Kardon AVR and you're looking at that wall of cables and asking yourself which cables do I need and with which devices do I need to use them. It's scary at first but you follow some really unique steps of identifying what you need, you'll buy the right cables the first time, and everything will work the first time you go to connect it. There's no secret that over the last couple of years, a new cable has entered the marketplace, and it's an evolving cable, and it's called HDMI. It started back a few years ago, and it's now in its fourth rendition of the type of cable and its capabilities. It's really important that when you're hooking up these devices that you're familiar with what capabilities you have on the device that will help you identify which cable you need. Now obviously there's a difference between the cable that I hear on the left and the one on the right. If you look at the cables that are on the shelf, each one of these cables will be identified by a class or speed rating. Why does a consumer need this? It's easy. As HDMI has evolved, the capabilities of the devices have evolved. And in fact, the news about 3D TV and audio return channels are just the latest in capability of HDMI connected devices. So once again, check the device you want to connect up, its capabilities, and that will help you choose the right HDMI cable to connect your device with. There are going to be some instances where HDMI is not going to be the cable of choice. Sure, it's the cable that everybody knows about for digital high definition, but there is another high definition cable connection available, and that's component video. Component video carries all the different signals and is most commonly used with high definition converter boxes and uh, DVRs. There are plenty of products that are in our houses today that still don't deliver high definition. And for those products, we'll use a composite cable to deliver video directly to the back of the AVR. Now, when connecting the devices that use analog cables, we're also going to have to send audio to the AVR. We can do that with one of three types of cables, an analog audio left and right cable, a digital cable that's a coax de design, and also an optical cable. Some of the most advanced AVRs from Harman Kardon utilize network cabling. We do this to connect the AVR directly to the Internet so that you can pull down Internet radio stations and other content that you might want to listen to or watch. So you just purchased your brand new Harman Kardon AVR and you're going home and you're going to hook up your cable box. Which cable do you need? The first choice of many consumers is to use HDMI. And the reason is, is it carries both the audio signal and the video signal to the receiver and no other cables are necessary. However, not every cable box is going to have a fully functioning HDMI port. In that case, you want to move to the component video and digital cable for audio in order to make that connection. Don't worry about the fact that the product doesn't have HDMI because the AVR will convert the analog cable signal into the digital one going to your television. So you just purchased your brand new Harman Kardon AVR and paired it up with a great Blu-ray player in the BDP-1. So how do you get everything hooked up and working properly? The first cable you're going to need for your Blu-ray player is an HDMI cable. You'll also need an HDMI cable to go from the receiver out to your television set. Once connected, the Blu-ray player will send digital video and digital audio through the AVR. The video will get sent to the TV 
while the receiver processes the multi-channel audio soundtrack available on the disc. So you have your AVR, you have some high definition capable products, but what about that Wii that you've always wanted to play up on your TV with great sound? Well, it doesn't have an HDMI cable, and that's the one that you ran to the TV, right? Well, all you'll need to do is use one of the analog cables and connect that up to the system. The AVR will convert that analog system over to HDMI out to your television set. With Harman Kardon receivers, the styling on the outside and the performance in the box has to be married with an equally easy to use and equally stunning user interface. And that's going to take place on the television set. The way we do it is in 1080p high definition. Why choose Harman Kardon? It's simple. The performance that you demand, the flexibility that you need in today's digital world, and an entertainment experience that's beyond belief.